Hello friends, welcome to our channel Brain Alive. In this video, we will discuss MOS capacitor means metal oxide semiconductor capacitance. Generally, MOS capacitor is not manufactured separately. It is automatically induced when we use MOSFET. This is the diagram of MOSFET. Here it is gate, source and drain and this is the P-type substrate. The middle portion of this MOSFET is used as an MOS capacitor. If we cut out this portion, this will look like this. This is gate and this is the metal contact. This metal contact may be of N plus polysilicon type. And this is the silicon dioxide layer. This acts as a dielectric and this is P type substrate. This uh, dial interface of this layer, silicon dioxide layer and this P type substrate is known as silicon silicon dioxide interface. When we apply voltage at the gate terminal, the either side of this oxide layer charges are int introduced. So we'll, it will act as a capacitor. We know the conventional capacitor is like this one. This is the conventional parallel plate capacitor. Here, these are two plates separated by a distance D. In these two plates, there is some dielectric. When we apply voltage across these two plates, these plates get some polarity according to the voltage polarity. Here we can see the capacitor is given by this relation means epsilon r into epsilon naught. This is the area or overlapping area of these two plates upon the distance between the plates. We can observe here there is no voltage expression. So the capacitance in this case does not depend upon the voltage. But the case is different in case of MOS capacitor. Here when we apply voltage at the gate, the capacitance varies according to the charge developed. So the capacitance is given by charge upon voltage. So the incremental capacitance is given by the charge that occurred due to the change in the voltage applied at the gate. Now depending upon the voltage that we apply at the gate, there uh, the capacitor works in three modes. The MOS capacitor works in three modes. They are accumulation mode, depletion mode and the inversion mode. Before we extend our discussion to the three modes of operation of the MOS capacitor, we should know about flat band voltage. We need to apply flat band voltage at the gate to make the electric field everywhere in the MOSFET zero. So this voltage can be zero, but generally it depends upon work function or the doping concentration of the substrate. Now, if we do not apply flat band voltage means when VG is when VG equals to zero, the energy band diagram will look like this. This this is uh, this side shows the metal side and this shows that this rectangle shows the oxide layer and this shows the substrate side energy diagram of substrate side. We can see here this shows the Fermi level or the uh, this is conduction band, this is valence band, here also this is valence band, conduction band and the Fermi level. And this is the conduction band and uh, valence band of this uh, oxide layer. We can see here at the interface the band is bending here. So to make this band flat, we will apply a flat band voltage. After applying the flat band voltage means when Vg equals to Vfb, this is the flat band voltage. The diagram, energy diagram will look like this. We can see here the flat, the bands are flat at the interface. When we apply this flat band voltage, the Fermi energy level is shifted upward by this value. This shows the flat band voltage. Now we will discuss the accumulation mode of the MOS capacitor. Here in accumulation mode, we will apply a gate voltage that is more negative than the flat band voltage means Vg is less than Vfb. When we apply this negative voltage, this plate, metal plate will be negatively charged and this negative charge will attract positive holes from the substrate and due to the attraction they will collect at the interface means silicon silicon dioxide interface they will collect here so we can see this will act as a parallel plate capacitor means this is one plate and this is the other plate and this is the dielectric the the d is the thickness of the dielectric here so the capacitance 
we can resemble it a capacitance means this is this plate is one plate and this is the other plate this substrate side is other plate and this is tox is the thickness of the dielectric so the capacitance is given by just like a parallel plate capacitor epsilon naught epsilon ox means oxide and this is the overlapping area and this is the thickness of the dielectric means distance between these two plates now we'll see the charge density diagram with respect to distance from this oxide layer this shows the metal charge and this shows the substrate charge means substrate side this is metal charge means negative and this is positive charge in substrate side this is positive so it in first quadrant and this is third quadrant we can see there is a difference in the width of this these charges as in metal side metal has more dense charge density so uh, the width is less here and the semiconductor has less charge density so the width is more here from the interface of silicon silicon dioxide now we can draw the cv curve means capacitance voltage curve this is the flat band voltage and this is negative in case of nmos and when we apply a more negative voltage we came across the accumulation mode and in case of accumulation mode we have got the capacitance is equals to cox and this is cox means this behaves like a parallel plate capacitor so the max this gives the maximum value and it does not depend upon this voltage so this region is given by accumulation region and the capacitance is cox that is this is maximum capacitance now we'll discuss the energy band diagram in accumulation mode when we apply a more negative voltage at the gate means the voltage is less than the flat band voltage and the substrate is grounded we enter into the accumulation mode now this is the band diagram this is the flat band energy diagram using this energy diagram we will derive the energy di diagram in accumulation mode in flat band diagram this is fermi level and this is the fermi level of the substrate side this is metal side this is oxide and this is the substrate this is valence band this is fermi level this is intrinsic level and this is the conduction band this phi m is the work function of the metal and this phi f is the work function of the semiconductor the what is work fun work function is the amount of energy given to an electron to come out the surface of the metal and this is also the same this is chi s this is the electron affinity now using this diagram we will derive this one uh, when we apply a more negative voltage means voltage that is less than the flat band voltage the energy band diagram of the metal side is shifted upward here we can see this black shows the flat band diagram and this red shows the energy di band diagram of the accumulation region we can see when we apply more negative voltage this is shifted here and this fermi level is shifted upward by the amount q times vg and this also shifted upward so the diagram in red will look like this uh, this is like a, a parallelogram this black is the flat band and this red shows the bad bending at the interface this is due to the fact that as there is accumulation of positive charges near the interface of silicon dioxide and silicon so there is upward bending we know in in p type semiconductor the fermi level is near the valence band the fermi level is near the valence band and as substrate side is grounded so there is no change but due to the accumulation of positive charges as the number of holes are more here than this side in an, and then the bulk so the gap between the fermi level and the valence band decreases near the interface so the so the bending of band takes place and in the same way this intrinsic level and the conduction bands moves upward this band bending is given by this q times phi s this phi f is the surface potential and this q times vox this vox is the voltage drop across this oxide layer this surface potential is given by 1 upon q energy intrinsic energy at the bulk and minus intrinsic energy at the surface so this is given by this equation 
in general the voltage applied at the gate is given by this equation this vg equals to flat band voltage plus vox means voltage drop across the oxide plus phi s means surface potential from this equation we can find out this vox oxide voltage drop across the oxide in accumulation mode this phi s means the band bending is very small so we can neglect it neglect it so we can find out this vox equals to vg minus flat band voltage in next lecture we will discuss the depletion mode of mos capacitor hope you understand the mos operation in accumulation mode if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching the video